How you doing? And welcome to Chuck Hunt, Keep the Old Man Out. Uh, you know, I, I think I'm being a little too serious all the time on this show. Um, I was in sales for 30 years. I ended up being a sales manager. And I thought I'd tell you one of, one of the many funny stories I have from working in that industry. Uh, one time uh, we had a client who had uh, 15 tire stores, okay? And nobody could get them on the air. My boss tells me, go up there, get them on the air. I don't care what you do. Take them out drinking get him on the air. So I go up to this guy, kind of an arrogant guy, you know, he's sitting there, he's listening to my, my, my pitch, and finally he goes, you know what? He goes, I don't wanna to listen to your shit. You salespeople are all like, I need to go for a beer. So I go, well, I'll take you out for a beer. He goes, like I would drink with a salesperson? I go, hey, I want to drink with a tire man, okay? So he looks at me, gets up, we go out drinking. Well. You know, to make a long story bearable, we, we drank a lot and I couldn't drive home. So we go to his house. It's like a big house on Lake George, kind of like a mansion. We go in there, his wife's there. As he's walking me through the door, she goes, who the hell is that? And he goes, that's Chuck, that's my new salesperson. So she goes, Jesus Christ. And we go in. Now we go down to his basement. It's like a full ship room. The, the, the bar is like a boat, okay? Uh, all captain stuff all around, very, a very expensive house. We start drinking even more. So I'm sitting there, oh God, I gotta go poop. So I go, uh, hey John, where's the bathroom? And he goes, right through the door there. So I go, fine, now I'm loaded, <laughs> I'm drunk. So I go into the room and I, I can barely even see, right? So I go and I sit and I do, uh, you know, let's face it, men, men love to take a poop. It's like, it's like giving birth to us, it's just very fulfilling. <laughs> So I'm sitting there and I, I take a healthy poop. So I'm looking for the wall, for the uh, toilet paper, you know, I'm usually on the wall. And I look and it's, it's like about 15 feet that way. And I look around and then I look down and the, the toilet's not even hooked up. They're renovating the bathroom. I just took a huge poop in the toilet in the middle of their brand new bathroom that's not hooked up. So I waddle over, get the toilet paper, clean myself up shut, the, shut the, the, the toilet seat down, and uh, I walk out to him, and I go, I gotta go. You know, he goes, whoa, 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 why don't you just stay? He goes, we just signed this big contract for football, and I go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I go home, the next morning I'm at work, 8.30 in the morning, how I did that, I don't know. I was young. Uh, I get a phone call from him. You son of a bitch, he goes. He goes, I'm sitting here spooning my toilet out with my wife screaming at me. So uh, uh, long story short, we, we became real good buddies, did a lot of business together over 10 years, and, and uh, uh, that's my funny story. It, you know, it's not a beautiful story, but it's a funny story, and I just thought I'd give you a different side of me. You know, I'm not a real serious guy. I am serious about making people get old more gracefully. That's all I'm about. I, I just hate seeing people not realize how lucky they are to be old. All right. So, and I, I'll, I'll put in some of these stories now and then if this one doesn't, you know, work out, we'll see. All right. But anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.